I think things really do change between the rehearsal room with piano and the stage with piano and once we have the full orchestra. We also have to acknowledge that for Alain conducting, it's different to conduct one pianist and a whole bunch of singers. He has to conduct, I don't know how many people, what's going to be, 75 people, something like that, 80, 85 people in the pit and all these singers on stage. And we don't work with a souffleur, with a prompter here. So he has an enormous job. And that's why we have to be so well prepared that we don't force him to give all his attention to us. I mean, he needs to enjoy what he's doing with the orchestra and they need to feel like he's with them and not just, you know, trying to be a superhero and save us all the time. I do have a ritual on the day of the performance. Um, I don't do anything new, first of all. Um, that's really important, that I don't put myself into any new experience. No new restaurant, no new food, no new people. I generally don't talk to anyone. Um, I keep the day very quiet for myself. Um, I'm very regimented on what I eat and when I eat. I always cook for myself. I eat like a sports person, stretching, um, going through the entire piece carefully, calmly meditating and that's all before I get to the theater and once I get to the theater I'm usually very early um, I like to kind of get here stretch organize my room and make sure that everything is under control so that if if something is behind schedule I'm early you know and then I start with the makeup and hair artists try to relax and enjoy what they're doing I'm not chatty with them because I'm saving my voice for the show and, uh, and then finally getting dressed. I think about every show as kind of a blank page and I'll often put a white sheet of paper on my mirror um, in my dressing room to remind me to just come from that beautiful clean white page and not try to recreate anything that went well and not to fixate on anything that didn't go well. So everything is new.